All right. Hey guys, I'm back with another product from Amazon. Um, I think if I remember correctly, these are earbuds. Um, which so I, these are I think you should be like discon some discontinued inked earbuds in black and gold by Skull Candy. The reason I'm getting them uh, is because I usually don't rock earbuds. I do have these. They use a lot. These are kind of convenient and nice to use. These are the Mobile Tech Pods free lava red that I got when they um, had a pretty good discount on it. There, it was more than I would usually spend on earbuds, but since it was on such a deal, I decided to get them. Like, if I decided I didn't want them, I'll just sell them for retail price and make like 30 bucks. But um, I had these. So these are the School Candy um, Hesh 3 wireless headphones. And I got these because the School Candy Hesh 2 wireless headphones had broken on me after uh, having them for about two years. I got these and these broke on me. Um, after about two months. So the build quality is not nearly as good, but the sound quality is a lot better. Um, it, like this part crack, I still plan on eventually fixing this. I tried Elmer's glue and that didn't work. So I'll probably try a different glue sometime. Uh, but this literally is like fell apart. And so like at that point, this is the only, this hinge here is the only thing that's keeping this, like this whole entire side of the ear connected to the rest of the headphones. So um, I do want to end up using them again because you know, other than the mysterious rattling noise, I think on the right side, when you shake it, you should be able to hear it. Um, they're actually not broken, and they still have good quality, so when I have time, I'll get some glue and fix that up. But for now, I went with the $15 solution. Discontinued school cream gear, that's from Amazon. So, I guess I don't really have anything to demo them with, so I'll just show off the packaging. This is what it looks like coming out of the box here. Uh, let's see, I still have those trusty scissors. So I use those. So this is what I'll use like for editing stuff and also watching stuff. So now I'll be able to like watch shows on my laptop without the speakers and without some Bluetooth earbuds, which sometimes have latency because it's Bluetooth. Uh, here we go, inked. So it's not the inked too. I think it's just like the normal inked that's um, discontinued, I suppose. So I don't know. I don't think you guys would want to see me like wrestle with this. So I'm not going to unbox it here. But I just kind of wanted to show it off to you. It looks good. Um, if I like it enough, I'll do a review for it. But I haven't used wired earbuds in a long time because I've had these, I think maybe for almost a year now. So. Uh, or whenever these came out, they did a discount not uh, too long afterwards, so that's when I got them. But these, though, I haven't used wired earbuds like these in so long. I usually don't trust these because, like, something like this, I noticed that when, like, stuff like this breaks, because when I was younger, I'd get, like, $15 headphones, like, every six months. And I realized it was because I would use them, like, way too much, and it would put a lot of stress on, like, the cables. And the cables are actually what would cause it to break, not the actual headphones. So I got headphones like these, and these last a lot longer because... Um, you have the, let's see, you have like the port right here, the headphone jack. So if it's like the cable that ends up breaking, then you can just buy a new cable for like 10 bucks. And so that's one thing I really like about headphones like that. Um, but these, I don't know, if these break, I'm not going to be able to use them again. But it's only 15 bucks just to hold me over until I can save some more money to get new headphones. So I hope I like these. If I like them enough or hate them enough, I'll probably do a video about it. Um... Which, similarly, I don't know, I might do a video about this, but this is basically that video. Because all I have to say is, this is extremely cheaply built, unless you're going to buy a case for it. I frankly wouldn't buy these. Um, or, like, keep them in a studio. Because these broke because they were, like, in my backpack, I think. And I might have, someone might have bumped into it, or I might have dropped the backpack down heavily or something. But unless you're going to take really good care of these, these are not at all worth buying. I wouldn't buy these. And actually, this... This, you know, evaporates my trust in all of the newer products because I, the, from the renders, they look like they're built exactly the same. If you look at the design, it's extremely similar. So, you know, if I ever buy headphones, it's probably going to be older. I have, I'm eyeing the uh, Hesh 3s again, but also like the Indies, even though they're not school candy, they look kind of nice. So, anyways, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And um, if you haven't gotten a chance, go back and watch all my old videos where I open up all the other products that I've gotten from Amazon. And let me know if you want me to do more of these videos, because I can do them if I have enough money.